Hey guys, it's Cassiocker Gamer, and this game is called The Shadows That Run Alongside Our Car. It is about being in a car during, I think, a zombie apocalypse, and we're just kind of trying to get away or something like that. It's a visual novel type game, so I thought we'd check it out. Who do we want to see the road through? I guess him. Gun it. I put the pedal to the floor. The wheels screech as we pull into the lane. The car swerves, but it doesn't really matter. There's no one else out here as far as the eye can see. The abandoned station shrinks behind us until we're gone. And then it's just us and the long road. The world outside the window passes by us in abstract, like the whole world's given up on having any meaning. We drive in silence. After a while, I hear the faint buzzing of the power window being rolled down. You sure that's a good idea? It's not like the zombies are just going to hurl themselves at a moving car. Fair enough. Well, that was a thrilling conversation. So, guess this is kind of strange to be asking after three whole days, but what's your name anyway? Right, we never did introduce ourselves. It's... what's her name? Sure. That's fine. The preset's fine. Shelby. Well, nice to officially meet you then, Shelby. My name's... Sure, Dustin. Dustin. Okay. Ah. The car shudders briefly as we rumble over a series of potholes, but then the road smooths again. The humming of the engine reminds me of a storm brewing far off on the horizon. Beyond the occasional noises, we sit in silence. So, what were you doing before everything happened? Hmm? Oh. Wow, that's the first time she's actually started a conversation. Guess I'm not so intimidating after all. What was I doing? God, what was I? A whole lot of nothing. I bet that sounds super impressive, huh? Just a scruffy drifter. Not so sure she wants to hear that. I... Uh, bend the truth. I was moving, cross-country. Then everything went south. What about you? This ride is yours, right? Mm, yeah, well, it's really my dad's car, or was. Even when he was alive, though, I was the only one who ever drove it. Ah, guess he didn't... Sorry, never mind. It's okay, the booze would have killed him eventually anyway. Oh. Pretty quiet in here, huh? Surprisingly, not much noise at the end of the world. Do you think there's any radio stations left? I'd be pretty shocked if so. Reckon it couldn't hurt to look, though. She's fiddling with the dial. I'm pretty sure we're not going to find anything. Static comes in and out in waves. Every so often, the distortion gives the illusion of an actual sound, but then it goes straight back to nothingness. Just then, though... Hang on a sec, go back down. I think I actually heard something. The noise phases in and out, and then something comes into auditory focus. Hope I don't have to remove that for copyright. Is that mariachi? Pfft. I can't contain myself. The sound is unmistakable. Horns blare joyless joyously over the static in a sick fanfare while a man's voice wails soulfully over it. I'm laughing so hard I nearly pissed myself. Shelby's nearly there too. That was not what I was expecting. Who the hell's out here running this? <laughs> of all the music that would be left. Oh man. I sink back into the driver's seat letting my mind drift to the music. The dissonance is almost comforting. As the fractured cords wash over me, I try to pretend that I'm lounging in a truck bed somewhere, out in the sun, mid-afternoon, shirt damp and dirty from a hard day's work. For a moment, I almost believe it. The music falls short for a few seconds before starting up again. Wait, isn't this the same song again? Ugh, it's probably on an endless loop, because why wouldn't it be? Sure seems that way. Guess it's just ghosts on the waves after all. And the undead aren't exactly interesting DJ interested in DJing. What do you think a zombie'd even listen to? Ugh, is death metal too obvious of an answer? 
Rob Zombie, or maybe they're all into baby metal these days. I don't know, I think the Grateful Dead seems more apt. You know, I've always wondered this, but why? what are they grateful for, exactly? Maybe they finally found themselves some peace. Peace, huh? I wish they'd let the rest of us have some. Ain't so bad right now, anyway. Well, except for that. I shake my hand at the radio controls. So, what are you into, anyway? Music-wise, I really like Alanis Morissette. If top 40s, that kind of thing. You? And don't tell me it's baby metal. Will you judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them? No, that might be for the best. What do you listen to, then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into the Stones or Marley or something, but, well, you'll probably actually judge me more for this, haha. <laughs> Try me. Abba. <sighs> Just as I thought, she starts laughing at my expense. It's a nice sound, though. I'm not going to be poetic and say that it sounds like music or anything like that. Still, it's good to hear. Told you. No, no, it's fine. Their music's catchy. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it's fine. Your parents? Yeesh. How old are you, anyway? You seem a bit young for, for Alanis. How old do you think I am? I'm pretty sure there's no right answer to that question. Except for that one. I'm 22. Hmm. Shit. God, that's so young. She's practically a kid. What was I doing when I was 22? Still wasting my life, I reckon. Wonder if she's even been to school. That young and the whole damn world crashing down around her. I try not to make a face, but I can see my knuckles going white as my fingers grip harder into the wheel. This music's kind of similar to ABBA, isn't it? All peppy and stuff? You should be happy to have it. That's sure an optimistic take on it. All right, enough of you. I reach down and turn the volume knob to a sh to a sharp left, and the radio blissfully goes silent. Farewell, wailing man. Now it's just us again. Did you ever expect things to end up this way? It's getting dark, huh? The sun sets so late in the summer. Uh, sore topic. I guess she doesn't want to talk about it. I can't say I blame her. I'm a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without the streetlights and all. It's like the sky has just been saving it up. Looks a bit like dying fire. Kind of fitting for the end of the world. You never really told me what it is that you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but, well... Mm. What do you like to do? Or, or what did you before everything? Actually, I worked a lot. I didn't really have time for much other than that. I would wake up, shower, go to work. Have lunch break, back to work. Get off work, eat dinner, and watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. And then the whole thing would start over again in the morning. That was about it. Guess that'd be most people's stories. It's tough out there. It was tough. Probably tougher now. <laughs> All kind of pointless in the end, isn't it? You work your damn tail off and everything goes to pot anyway. And you just wonder why you didn't spend your time better, you know? Yeah. But I guess that doesn't matter either way. So what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. <laughs> I used to travel a lot, looking for work and stuff. I suppose you could call me a bit of a nomad. Well, that sure is lofty. That sounds really cliche. Not really, it sort of suits you. To tell the truth, I haven't really had much of a purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. Got to the point I used to wish I could just take a vacation from life. Guess I got my wish, didn't I? Wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? <laughs> yeah, monkey's paw. I don't think she knows I've noticed, but she's been pressing at her gut a lot. Wonder if she's still alright. Since I first ran into her, she's been in a rough way, and I'm not sure it's gotten much better. We probably should have looked for some more bags of that ginger stuff. Uh, I'm going to ask if she's nauseous. Still feeling nauseous? Hmm? Oh, yeah, it's gotten a lot better, but... 
I'm just exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. I do, but... Christ, I'm really not equipped for this. I know first aid, I can stitch up a cut, but gastric distress is a bit beyond me. You think we should stop and rest? Eh, like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Breaking would just waste gas. Right, the fuel. If everything wasn't so weird these days, I'd call, sus I'd call it suspicious that there was only a single tank's worth left. Not much we can do about that, though. Onward it is, then. Do you ever wonder, like, why us? How did we make it this far? And is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? <laughs> Didn't I used to? Honestly, I try not not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what I what my own life was worth, I it's a dangerous train of thought. I'll tell you that. We're here, and that's what matters. Despite it all, we're we're here and we're safe. The how and why of it is just garnish on the salad. You know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean, that we were really facing the apocalypse or whatever. So the first couple of months, I just kept working, kept on like everything was fine. And then, listen, you gotta answer me if you, you don't gotta answer me if you don't want, but your old man, what happened? My dad? <laughs> so needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. But they wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor stores anymore, so he wandered off to another one. Just so happened that that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed, since he wasn't really any different from usual. It's pretty pathetic, huh? But so was my dad. And in the end, I won't be doing much better. Great, now I feel like I want to puke. Hey, please don't say things like that, Shelby. One of us has to keep this up. Uh... I'll let her be. Wow, yeah, I'm not going to be a creep about it. She's already tense enough. But we're still here. Just remember that. Until that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. It'd be stupid to assume that they would. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. <laughs> That's pretty cheesy, isn't it? Anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get on with him, I bet, I bet it must be hard losing someone that close to you. Yeah, I guess. It all happened so fast, I'm still trying to come to terms with it. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. I guess I'm almost privileged. No one I care about has been around in a long time. I wonder if there's anyone else still out there. I wonder if they're stuck out there like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. I... Just as she starts talking, the engine gives an unsettling sort of rumble and my heart jumps. It sputters a few times and the whole chassis lurches. With the pitiful clattering, the engine stalls out and the car can't do anything but coast. Crap. I noticed the fuel light on some minutes ago, but I guess I still wanted to think we had more time. The car rolls down the pavement until it can't anymore, and we amble to a stop. I really thought the gas would last a little longer than that. Bound to happen sooner or later, wasn't it? God, if I wasn't hoping for later. We bought this car used, after all. It's cost efficient, but not so much fuel efficient. Wonder how far the next gas station is. It'd be nice if there were some signs around here or something. I can't believe we've gone this long without seeing any. I haven't seen anything for miles. Even without people, without lights, I can't see how this could be. Lake Civilization just packed up and left the moment everything started to crumble, leaving not a trace behind. Even if there were, it's not like we could have seen them. It's gotten so dark, and without the streetlights... Hey, how fast do you think you can run? I don't want to run anymore. About average, I guess. Do you reckon we should? Her hand touches down to her stomach again. I really don't think she's alright. I don't know. I, I don't know if there's a point. Not much of a point to anything. Not anymore. Maybe not. It's too damn dark anyhow. In all likelihood, one of us would probably trip and fall. It'd be pretty sad to make it this far just to die from a bust-up face. <laughs> Please just smile. Yeah, it would. Anyway, there's nothing we can do until the sun rises. I stare out the window. The sky's clouded, but if I squint, I can see a faint light in the velvet. 
The breeze through the open window is quiet and clean. Guess we're crashing here tonight then, huh? In more ways than one. Could be worse, anyway. At least the air smells nice. Yeah. I sink back into my seat. I search around for the lever on the side so I can adjust the angle, but even when I yank on it, the damn thing won't budge. Used car. Right. I try and get comfy the best I can. I only hope that she can, too. It's gonna be a long night. Well, good night, then. It's so dark now, it's not so much... It's not much different when I shut my eyes. I breathe in and out and wait for sleep. I hope we see the morning. That was really sad. I don't like that there's like no conclusion. That was sad. Um, I'm sure there's like other endings because you could play as the other person. So if you want to check out the shadows that, what is it called? The shadows that run alongside our car. You can too on itch.io. It is free. Go check it out. See what the other endings are. See what changes depending on which character you choose and all that fun stuff. If you liked that, be sure to do the YouTube things. Come back and see me again for another video and I will see you next time. Bye.